Virgo, welcome back to Egyptian Intuition Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope you guys are well. Um, I hope you guys are having a good week. We're about midway. So this will be from, I think today is what, the 18th or 17th? <laughs> so around now until around mid next week or just whenever you see this, they're all timeless. Um, couple of things right before your video or right before I started recording I started sneezing hella so I feel like there's gonna be a lot of channeled messages here um, something about transformation as well also the last reading I did for you guys go check it out it was a little over a week ago where I mentioned the earthquake happening it's in your video so just saying you might want to go look at it though because it might resonate now because you know that was like four days before the earthquake that i posted that and then also pisces could be significant and the last time this happened with my nose like when i started channeling like really heavy a couple months ago was during pisces so that could be significant or you could be dreaming anyway let me just pray really quick and then we'll get into it so Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Virgo on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. Okay, so um, I'll get into these messages later towards the end because I just want to get into this right now. On the bottom of the deck already, number nine, Virgo energy. You could be suffering in silence, something about the emotions, and yeah, more Virgo energy, your heart chakra. You could be born September 4th, or something about the 4th of September could be significant. Ooh, love begins. I was about to say, I feel like you're going on a trip or some higher level of commitment you may be offering, or it feels like, I don't want to say marriage, but like promise ring energy, you know? So you could be either dealing with the Taurus or you're planning to give some type of some type of commitment but like you're emotionally withdrawn this is all earth sign energy here so you could be feeling like a little distant a little unsure this month here in august really trying to go within and see if you want to extend this offer see what your heart is kind of saying to you yeah and you're more earth energy what's going on you could be born in 1986 i see or 1984 through 1986 um but yeah, I see that you're reflecting on like memories of love and feeling trapped in fear, another eight. Uh, also Leo energy here. So in regards to love, I feel like you have very conflicting energies or you're of two minds. You could be crying a lot. Like maybe that's why my nose started. Like I just started sneezing hella, like hella. <laughs> another nine, Virgo energy. Yeah, you're in solitude right now. You could be studying. The universe is guiding you through something or guiding you to some piece of information. You could be born September 21st. Anything else for Virgo? Holy Spirit, thank you. Yeah, I'm getting super hot. Lots of energies for you guys all around. I'm hearing all around the board, board meetings. Like, you could be nervous. Like, you might have some type of presentation or something that kind of, like, decides if you get a promotion or something so you could be like wanting to be excited but you don't want to get your hopes up so you're just trying to like sit back and chill but yeah something like that whatever it is it's affecting your comp um your confidence <sighs> virgo chill yeah i feel like you're just like in your mind help like i keep saying hell you could live in california <laughs> i say that word a lot but not that much like <laughs> Um, so let's get into these channel messages. Something about belong in the sun, be going on a trip, or there's some type of conflict about a trip or going somewhere to some mountains or something. Something about fires. You could be seeing fires around your area or there might be a fire soon, like a really big one. Um, you could be a chef or like the chief in charge. Your dad could be like a chief officer or something, or you could be... Yeah, you're, you're having some type of ego death. Oh, wow, look at the bottom. Yeah, you're surrendering your ego, 444. You could be seeing that a lot. And spirit is guiding you through this. You're coming out of like manipulation of what's around you. And you're starting to go within your heart chakra and starting to see like what's within you and what you want. Yeah, 
what success looks like to you on that front. Yeah, all of this earth energy. There could be a lack of harmony right now in the home. Something about money or the lack thereof. Yeah, you're placing boundaries. Something about budgeting or trying to spend less. There could be a conversation about this you could be having. Like, yeah, Virgo energy. Or you're placing boundaries on something if you feel like you're being manipulated in a situation. I feel like you're finally having that conversation you might have been scared to have. Yeah. You're divinely guided, so don't worry. Yeah, you're really worried about failure, but just know you wouldn't be going through the steps that you're going through for no reason. So just know whether the outcome is what you wanted or, want it to be or not, it's all leading somewhere. Shuffling for Virgo. <clears throat> yeah, you need to sacrifice something. Sagittarius energy, something you don't know. Clarify high priestess and Earth. You need to set your intention. You could be de dealing with an Aquarius, a Pisces, or something you kind of know you need to do, but you're just like not really sure how to go about it. I'm also seeing Leo energy, six plus two, yeah, eight, but some type of complete resurrection needs to happen, Scorpio energy here, in order for something to be pleasurable again. And the time was just 624, that's 6666. So like harmony, you need to restore harmony, yeah, because there's a lot of conflict. Leo energy and you're realizing something so yeah Virgo energy here you've been nurturing something or I feel like this petty energy or pessimistic energy just because like all of these are in reverse but it's like because this is upright like you know kind of what's going on but your creativity is blocked by this energy so if you want to manifest you're gonna have to like cleanse that and be wise about what's going on I was about to say, you could be 15. Someone could be acting like they're 15 here. <laughs> yeah, in denial. You're someone else about just the way you've been going about nurturing things. Virgo energy here. So just something to look at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very pessimistic energy here. I feel like this is definitely your energy. I feel like the perfectionist type vibe becoming very apparent. Yeah, it's like you want everything to go your way yeah look at that and then you get upset when it doesn't something about august 14th could be significant yeah cycles too you need to center yourself and the sun card in reverse i feel like you're getting very wrapped up in your all your own emotions and it's kind of affecting other aspects of your life but you don't want to realize that before it's too late. So yeah, be careful of acting out of character. I'm also hearing something about instant gratification, like you might do something instantly and regret it later, or someone might do this to you. Temperance, the tower, yeah, something. California energy again. Hopefully there's not an earthquake coming in California, but the emperor, you're standing in your authority here, Aries energy, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but eight of wands, like that car outside just sounded like this car, you're going somewhere, you could be traveling, returning somewhere, eight, eight, you've been meditating on this for a while, this could be long-term energy, eights, or like infinity, the infinity symbol. So yeah, you're going somewhere or returning someone to temper something out. Judgment, Virgo. Tower. Upheaval. Ace of Cups. So this is, this is like the calm before the really good part. Yeah. You've been working really hard trying to keep your mouth shut about something or trying not to start an argument. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. But here, Virgo energy. There's something you're going to see online, though. And it might change things for you. Yeah, the truth. But something might cause you to walk away from something. The lovers in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so whatever you're finding out, it might... Oh! Okay, so for some of you... you sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of Sagittarius energy or like angelic energy around you but this tower moment is because you might be realizing there's um, an offer of love going somewhere else and you're finding out about this online Virgo energy 
And the Empress is over here just sticking out in the back like Pisces energy there. Yeah, so you're trying to like bite your tongue about something. You're like, I swear, one more move, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You have like a message typed for some of you. This feels like different energy from the first spread that you're like conflicted about, or maybe not. Maybe this is what you're conflicted about, something you saw online and you don't know how to bring it up. Yeah, King of Cups on the bottom of the deck, Scorpio energy here. Something again you wanna say. They came out right on top of each other. Ooh, like something, ooh, something's hard to hear. You're having to walk away from something. And yeah, work on your own Virgo energy here. August 5th could have been significant. Lots of fighting, yeah. Feeling trapped. Let's move on. King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so you're not really knowing how to take action either. What is going on this week? Somebody could be crying a lot in their bed. I'm sorry if that's you. Cause it's just my nose, like. Yeah, someone wants to go. Like someone's saying something and you they wanna like just dip. I feel like I just get mad and just dip. <laughs> yeah, here it is again. The fighting and the justice, Libra energy. So that you're fighting over some type of commitment, some type of emotional aspect of a commitment. I feel like someone feels like they're not receiving like the epitome of the emotional Part of the relationship that they could be the ace of cups in reverse it's like no matter what they do it's still not <laughs> it's not giving what it's supposed to give <laughs> i think only some people will understand that reference but there's some type of new beginning i feel like you might not want to proceed with but you're also not saying that either it's interesting I feel like it's like you don't know what you want to do. Like you're weighing the pros and the cons this month. Like if I walk away, eight, eight. If I stay, I feel like this. It's just like kind of impossible to be here. If I switch things up, then I'm going to return to something else. Eight, eight. That you may... Let's see. How do you feel about what you want to return to? You feel like that's that's like where you want to grow old? So you're conflicted. Okay, Virgo. Or something about family. Your family could be fighting about some type of relationship. You're like, I could stay here and do this and like thug it out, I'm hearing. Or I can change things, return, I don't know, maybe home. And I don't know, there's some type of a large sum of money or like inheritance or something that you would be receiving or Financially, financial security. Mm hmm But you don't... 10, yeah, 10, 10. You don't... Either you don't want to talk about this, you don't want to break the news, or you know that, like, after whatever upheaval this is, you can, like, kind of, like, you have somewhere to return to in case things go left. Yeah, Virgo energy. Okay, we're switching decks. These readings are going to be a little bit longer today. We have three more. I just wanted to take my time with you guys. You know, Virgo energy again. You're taking your time, like really deciding on something. Whew. You could be having a heated conversation, realizing that you're like romanticizing bad decisions, or this is like kind of fight to like make up which is kind of toxic and you might be realizing this pattern is toxic it's like things go really bad but then the makeup's really good only for them to go bad again yeah ow i did that i did that in somebody's reading i think it was scorpio's reading when i said complete transformation so yeah and then this is scorpio energy here with this death card it's really just the vortex here in atlanta but Uh, I feel like somebody, this is random, I feel like somebody drank orange juice this morning and then, or brushed their teeth and then had orange juice and regretted it after. <laughs> okay. Y'all in my first video, obviously that's why I'm severing Ace of Swords, another 444 there. But no, you're realizing some type of truth, you're realizing like, 
what will bring you the most happiness, the most fulfillment emotionally, just in all forms. Like, I feel like you're finally realizing what that is after something that you're seeing, realizing, finding out. Some, something like, I'm seeing those cars that the car companies use to test vehicles and it's just like hitting the wall and it's just like, ah. <laughs> yeah. Ace of Pentacles, something about your money is a focus. Or you're hoping for a promotion or some type of job offer opportunity. Emperor, yeah, where you'll be promoted. Like I said, you'll be in an authority position. You could have been working on this since April, but it's just something that you're really weighing out. Like, I'm, I see it even going as far as like, okay, if I get this job, then I can move here. I can afford this. I can have this four bedroom. If not, okay, then I'm going to have to have this like two bedroom, which is fine. But I just kind of like need to know. That's for somebody out there. Whew, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Gemini too. Or you're just in two minds, like very conflicted. You're trying to just wait and see what happens, but it's just like the thoughts, just not knowing where things are going with a certain situation or what's affecting you. Yeah, nine of cups, Virgo energy. You don't know what you're going to have. And if this isn't work, it's just like as far as fulfillment goes, like am I going to be happy down the line with this or do I need to change things? Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> your mom could be telling you that you need to change something and your dad. Yeah, your parents are like egging you on to do something and that's what's making you so conflicted. Yeah, mother and father, daughter in reverse, the emperor. So it's almost like your parents are trying to make you like step up. And um, if your parents aren't around, God bless their souls, I feel like the spirits of them are nudging you to like step up or something. They're trying to help you take control of something by November, maybe? Between your birthday and November? Yeah, friends and family, old friends or family. They're all ganging up on you. This feels like intervention, and they're all trying to tell you, do something. Yeah, they're all trying to, like, all of them, with all their opinions, giving you different forms of the same advice, and you just don't know what to do. Oh. It's about some higher level of commitment towards energy, like some type of job or, I don't know. But you got your mom in your ear, your dad in your ear. Yeah, the squirrel just ran by everyone. You just want to, like, run away. That's why you want to you wanna run away. Oh, my goodness. I feel like you're working really hard so you can just, like, kind of go do your own thing. Ten of Pentacles. I feel, yeah, you're very stressed out. Okay, let's get into love. Yeah, a lot of intuitive downloads caught in the ruins. 616, so more Gemini energy or just being in too, like, caught in your head. Like, you're like a Virgo Gemini right now. You probably have a lot of Gemini in your chart. Shuffling for Virgo. No, okay. So we have the King of Roses in reverse and the Divine Physician. So, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so in reverse, it's like, like I said, something's nudging you and telling you the right way to go. But you, you're still acting like you can't hear it past unknown. Something about 1986 again. Then you got Archangel Michael coming again like, yo, we're trying to tell you you need to balance something out. Something's not balanced. And you're reflecting on it but you're still not acting. Something about August 19th that's coming up. The journey, the journey starting. So mark our August 19th on your calendar. Pay attention to what happens that day. Some type of completion maybe or a change in direction. Yeah, make sure you're being, you're using your mind for something because something about the age of 20 to 21, make sure you're using your mind because if you don't, and you're trying to proceed between August 19th and August 20th outcome. Yeah, you're going to have to start from scratch. The architect diversity. So you need to have your plan kind of ready. 
yeah, you've had plenty of times to prepare I'm here, or plenty of months to prepare for something. So you can't be like not knowing what to do now when it's time. Yeah, when it's time, when it really comes down to it. So something about the 17th through the 20th, you need to pay attention to what happens. I don't know what today is, but I believe it is the 17th or the 18th. Self-employment. It's a different life. I don't, I, I don't even know. <laughs> the weekends, people are like, what are you doing this weekend? I'm like... Week weekend <laughs> something about the um years between 2009 to currently some type of cycle you need to be aware of it's going to become very prevalent to you between the 17th and the 18th so either today and yesterday or today and tomorrow oh wow who is that is that a homeless guy <gasps> hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up I don't know who just walked. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. 